know, um, uh, I just want to divert for a moment, seeing as you've got such a, a storied history in, in management and then having been a player agent. Look, I think what's going to be an ongoing story, I'll just divert to baseball for a moment. For fans right across Canada, the Toronto Blue Jays, this whole thing with Alex Anthopoulos, now he's been hired by the Dodgers. You know, I can't help, and again, I'll, I'll, I'll defer to your managerial experience. I know you're good friends with Paul Beeston. With all the stuff that went on there where allegedly, uh, you know, the, the ownership management people higher up in the Rogers company that own the Blue Jays uh, went to uh, – behind the back of Mr. Beeston, and we're going to hire his replacement. He found out get about it, um, uh, I guess, through Mr. allegedly through Mr. Reinsdorf, the owner of the Bulls and the White Sox. And yeah. Mr. They, they Beeston, wanted to hire Williams. Uh, Kenny Williams, the white GM, exactly. Yeah. yeah. And Beeston found out about it. And, of course, Beeston was the guy who hired Alex Anthopoulos. And then Anthopoulos, finally, after 20 years, the Blue Jays are resurrected. He was the guy that put his butt on the line. He made all the deals, not just this year, but previous. And finally, it was all coming together. And, and then he was waiting and waiting and waiting. And they make a contract offer, but not till after the season. And I think he felt, plus the fact they hire Mr. Shapiro, uh, you know, who has been in Cleveland for some. I'm not knocking Shapiro. But, you know, it was clear, like, in top was, you know, the message was, you did a nice job, but you'll have to defer to Mr. Shapiro. Thank you very much. We'll give you a contract. Uh, but I think for the kid, you know, I won't call him a kid, Alex Anthopoulos, I mean, it was clearly a slap in the face. Now, Bill, you tell me. I don't know, but even if the players, the heart and soul of that team, look, they, they, would, they would respect what Anthopoulos did, but I think to the players, and I'll just guess, I mean the heart and soul, the most important players on that team, you tell me, wouldn't the players perceive this uh, in terms of what happened with Anthopoulos, that he didn't get the contract over offer or settled till after the season, they bring in Shapiro basically above him. So Anthopoulos says thanks, but no thanks. See you later. Wouldn't that be disturbing to the players? I don't mean they're not going to try hard next year, but wouldn't that be something that would upset their uh, spirit, for lack of a better term? What do you think, Bill? Well, you know, they're professionals. I hope it doesn't. But, Norm, I think it's going to be disconcerting to them because of the way it was handled right from Pelly, uh, Keith Pelly and uh, Ed Rogers trying to circumvent Beeston and rather than bring him in and say, hey, we're going to make a change. We want you to be a part of the change. They tried to do it surreptitiously, and they got caught. And neither one of them have a lot of experience in sports, uh, and any experience in sports that they've had uh, was not very successful. So uh, whoever sent the two of them out to do the job uh, were misdirected, and I was summarily unimpressed by both of them. I talked to Paul a year ago now, just uh, when he had no idea what was going on other than he knew they were out looking for a guy, and hiring a Dan Duquette or a Ken Williams um, ahead of uh, Paul Beeston is fine, but you, you know Beeston brought a lot of personality to that ball club. He brought a lot of character, uh, and I don't. I, I'm like you. I don't know Shapiro, nor do I know Williams. All I know is you don't sneak around back doors and uh, belittle Paul Beeston to try and hire Dan Duquette and Kenny Williams. But they did, and they got caught. And then they yeah. did the same thing with Anthopoulos. And so I admire Alex Anthopoulos for what he's done. This guy will do well wherever he goes. I don't know if he's been titled in Los Angeles yet or not, nor am I saw where he was going. But I like the way he did business. I like the way he and Beeston worked together. And when you look at the success that Blue Jays have had, it's always been a team, whether it was uh, the president uh, or the vice president and the general manager in yep. the case of uh, Pat Kellick, Pat Kellick and Paul Beeston. It was always a pair, and they had to be uh, synonymously uh, working together. Otherwise, you wouldn't have had the success. And I remember Paul saying in January of last year, I, I want to stick around here because I know that they'll get rid of Alex. Wow. So he had a premonition that Alex was going to get finally – get this team together, and he did, and uh, I, 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 I wasn't impressed by the hiring 
or Anthopoulos leaving, neither should have happened. 